Wow, Marvel has been busy, haven't they? It's time to vent! Diversity is one of the most important issues in creative mediums today, with representation being a major talking point. Comic books have increasingly become a battleground in this regard, especially since the most popular characters were created at a time where it would have been pretty much unheard of to have, say, an LGBT character and give him his own comic. And considering the films based on these characters have made literal billions of dollars, Bearing a few changes, the lineup still looks wider than Christmas at a KKK meeting. But change has been coming, and on the comic side of things, Marvel has been trying to get more diversity into their lineup. Case in point, a new person is now taking on the mantle of four, and it's a woman. Now that's pretty big news, and it sets off a lot of things to talk about. So here I am, just about to get my notes ready when... So, yeah. Now I have two things to talk about, so let's get right to it. Now the interesting thing about the new four is that it isn't the actual Asgardian that we know and love who's been changed into a new gender. No, it's actually an entirely different female character who now holds the hammer and calls herself four. Now I know what you're thinking, how in the hell can someone call themselves four when four already exists? Well, it kinda goes back to the first ever appearance of Thor. Originally, Dr. Donald Blake, oh, that's what that was about, was transformed into Thor when wielding Mjolnir, before it was revealed that he actually was Thor. It goes back to that enchantment on Mjolnir, whoever is worthy gets the power of Thor. Hell, this is shown in the movies, whenever he grabs the hammer, he powers up. And other beings have wielded it before. Beta Ray Bill is a famous example in comics, but my personal favorite, yeah, I'm not even going to explain that one. I'm just going to let its beauty sink in. Okay, I'm done. So yeah, that's pretty much that in a nutshell. And I'm interested in what happens, especially to Asgardian 4, who won't actually be called for anymore. As for the costume, well, the boob armor should annoy me. Yeah, guys, let's take a piece of functional armor and put a big, massive weak spot in the middle. But this time, just by its design, it actually doesn't bother me. But now we come to this one, oh boy. As you can tell, the new Captain America is... The Owl! Long time Daredevil villain finally getting its... Oh, okay, okay, it, it's Sam Wilson, the Falcon. Basically, Steve Rogers has lost the super soldier serum in his blood and is now too physically weak to be Captain America. So his old buddy Sam Wilson takes on the mantle himself, with Rogers giving him tactical support. I personally think the idea is pretty awesome. It sounds a bit like Batman Beyond, and anything that reminds me of Batman Beyond is a good thing. I'm interested in what kind of crazy shenanigans a guy with a wingsuit could do holding a shield as well. Speaking of the suit, the costume's actually pretty damn good as well, an amalgamation of both the Falcon and the Captain America costumes. However, I feel they missed their chance to make the Falcon's wings look a bit like a bald eagle, but eh, whatever. And now we come to the backlash, because if you change anything in the comics, you'll get someone who complains, and I include myself in that. The big buzzword amongst those not happy with these new changes is gimmick. That these changes will be turned back and therefore shouldn't be acknowledged and blah blah blah. While I get that sentiment in a way, it still bugs me. Just because these things can and probably will be changed back doesn't mean that they shouldn't be done. And it certainly doesn't mean that we should just throw up our hands and say, well, that's it. Comics shall stay white and male forever. Let us carve it in stone. Besides, superhero comics are all about gimmicks. The gimmick of a guy that dresses up like a bat. The gimmick of a guy that can fly. The gimmick of a guy that can crawl on walls. And I don't think that has a vagina counts as a gimmick if it's something half the population has. But if there's one thing that makes me think that it's not just a gimmick, it's this statement in the press release of the Four reveal. Four is the latest in the ever-growing and long list of female-centric titles that continue to invite new readers into the Marvel Universe. This female Four is the eighth title to feature a lead female protagonist and aims to speak directly to an audience that was long not the target for superhero comic books in America, women and girls. That is huge. Marvel has publicly, very publicly, said to the female demographic, we want your business. 
And gimmick or not, that is a big deal for a demographic treated for years as invisible. That's why this whole gimmick thing frustrates me so much, because it trivializes something that shows wholeheartedly that there is a place for those who don't happen to be white and male in comics. And while the timescale of these changes can be debated, the positive things it says about the industry changing cannot be. But in all of this, I hope that we get some damn good comics out of it.